Thank you so very much. Um, my name is John Nord. I'm the Executive Director of the Utah Department of Transportation, and it's my honor and privilege today to welcome you here at this red letter day of opening the I-15 core project. It's been a project that's uh, been many years in the making. It's appropriate today that we're on the Sam White Bridge. The Sam White Bridge, as many of, many of you might remember, this is uh, the bridge that we moved in overnight, the self-propelled modular transports. It's the largest bridge ever moved in the Western Hemisphere. They delivered this project 24 miles of brand new freeway, all of our interchanges, uh, this bridge right here, the entire surface in 35 months, which is record breaking. We don't know of another project anywhere in America or the world for that matter that's ever been delivered this quick uh, with this great quality. So they've done a terrific job. Governor, I want to announce that uh, earlier on we told, the, told you that this project was going to come in under budget. Uh, earlier on we announced it was going to be $230 million under, under budget. Uh, today I can tell you that the project will be more than that. It will be $260 million under budget. Uh, below us here there are 130,000 cars a day that will travel this corridor. And I think that uh, based on, on the driving experience that folks are having, we've redefined what it means to have congestion or the lack thereof in Utah County. So it's going to be a great thing for business and a great thing for everyone involved. As I hear the noise that makes this a necessity to have a sound system, that's the sound of progress you're hearing. That's the sound of commerce. That's the sound of a state that really is going in the right direction and making sure that we have a good quality of life coupled with economic opportunity. And our business community has been very loud and clear about talking about we've got to have infrastructure that works, that gets us from point A to point B. And I applaud the legislature and all involved in making sure we are funding our road projects appropriately. You know, you notice here just a few days ago, we just got named the number one state in America for business by Forbes magazine. The third year in a row, it's a three-peat. That's like the national championship from the gold standard of business, Forbes, saying Utah is the place to do business in America, the best place. And I think most importantly, I think what, who we need to thank are the taxpayers. Let's remember that this project has no federal money on it. This is an interstate, but there's no federal money on this project. The taxpayers of the state of Utah are helping us and are paying for this project. And it wouldn't have been possible without them throughout the years being supportive of the actions of the legislature and the executive branch and of UDOT. And they really are the ones who have made this possible. So I, I just personally want to thank all of the taxpayers in the state of Utah. Thank you. It's a great day. I'm here to tell you that this project just about didn't get built. It was the last night of the session. We've been struggling between the House and the Senate to decide whether to build the I-15 project now or wait for federal funds and wait for the future. But we decided as a legislature and as an executive branch that we were going to build this freeway and we didn't care if the federal government said no, we were ready to build it. So we took a chance. Today we look like heroes. We could have been heels. We could have been all said, you know, what were those guys thinking trying to rebuild a project like this, the largest project in this country at this time? This project had some unique abilities. I've had to live through this project for the last couple of years. I've had to live with the orange cones, just like you all have who live down here. These orange cones were a pain, but guess what? We kept three lanes open the whole time. And the times that we did have to close the freeway, such as when we moved this bridge on, we did it at night. This is a state that works together. And we can see that on this bridge we're standing on today and the freeway that's underneath us. Thank you so much.